In our weekly discussion of brachos, uh, we'll discuss this morning the bracha that we're going to make for the search of the chametz. Uh, and that bracha is bracha to Hashem, blessed are you God, King of the Universe, Asher Kiddushan of Mitzvah that He sanctified us with the commandment Al Biur Chametz concerning the destruction of the chametz. And this blessing is actually a unique bracha that it actually has a continuum to it. It begins with the, beer, with the search for the chametz, that's beginning the process, right? Because you're not saying for this, you're not saying, bless you, God, King commanded us with the mitzvah to check for the chametz, to search for the chametz, rather be using the word the destruction of the chametz. Because it begins on the night of Betikas chametz, which this year is going to be Sunday night. It begins with the Betikas chametz, the search of the chametz, that's step one. And then it concludes in the following morning with the burning of the chametz. And that bracha is very unique, that you make a bracha, only one bracha, you make it at night, and it at, continues into the morning uh, when you actively destroy the chametz, when you burn the chametz uh, the following morning. Uh, the bracha, like all brachos, is said immediately prior to the performance of the mitzvah. And one should be careful that one, what, after one makes the blessing, Begin, and what, after one makes the blessing, one should begin the search for the chametz immediately. Uh, and, I, and one should be careful, even if a person gets a text or a telephone call, I know this is really going to be very difficult, you have to ignore the text until you begin the process. Yes, that was meant for someone specific, yes. Um, you have to ignore that text until you actually begin the search of the chametz. Because otherwise your bracha never begins on something. And we have a rule that if you say a bracha and never have it um, begin, uh, then the bracha dissipates and the bracha is lost. So for example, I'll give you an example with food. Let's say you make a blessing on food. You make a blessing, hamotzi lechem in aretz, and then you begin talking on some other topic and you didn't eat the bread. Or let's say you make kiddush, and the wine spills before you drink it. Right? Somebody shakes your hand, or, or a whole cup spills over, before you have a chance to drink that wine, uh, you have to make a new bracha, because the bracha never began on something. So too, by Bitikas chametz, uh, once you begin the search for the chametz, then it's nice not to, uh, to discuss other matters uh, once you try, but that would, the bracha at least began the process, and the bracha would continue thereafter. That's the blessing that we're going to make in two Sunday, two weeks from tonight, uh, the bracha concerning the search for the chametz. This evening, everybody's encouraged to join us uh, 7.15 for the 